so I was gonna make a video where I was gonna, you know, say um, how much I missed my Jeep and stuff, and it's still in the shop, but uh, today, actually, Chris texted me and told me my Jeep is done. Jeep is done! Jeep in the whole wide world. Look at that. And the doors. Look at the glass. Look how clean it is. Okay, I don't know if you can hear, but $200. He fixed the glass. He aligned the doors better. He said he fixed the locks. Put a new muffler on. Whole thing. She is ready to go. She is ready for this trip. Although I still technically have to go fix the brake. Guys, remember a couple videos ago I changed out the drum brakes on my Jeep. Well, forgot to adjust them. Um so that's what I gotta do now. Probably need to adjust it a lot. My drum brakes don't even work. They're going to though. Lord forbid this whole thing fall on top of me. Roll over, crush me, I die. That would be the end of my channel. <laughs> I'm starting to feel resistance. Aha! Okay, well, one side done. And one side to go. That's it, that's two. Two done. I've got my nice jacket all dirty. Uh, I'm gonna have to wash this. what the brakes might have not worked before but they sure work now uh door is unlocked and you know open close first of all super smooth closing but it gets better got my keys put that in there i think it twisted the right way locked right okay now i'm back home ready to get my jeep good bed oh wait i did the wrong wait there we go and and then it's locked and then it's not locked ah oh, it's so cool oh. not to mention how clean clean it all is she's just beautiful i love it i love it public cat loves it too look at him tell, tell everyone how you've been crying ever since the jeep has been gone tell them tell them literally he has been non-stop crying while he was outside this whole time ever since the jeep has been gone and now the jeep is back and he's happy for whatever reason he hasn't cried since the Jeep's been back. Hi, Gertie. How are you? <laughs> Good. Hi. Oh, also my, I'm kind of dirty, so. I didn't get <laughs> oh, to you too. I'm sorry, I didn't say hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh garage man fixed the door. I see that. Yeah. <laughs> Just... what was, I mean, he really did a job, didn't he? Yeah. So, so do you like it? Yes. And you, and you In an earlier video, I showed you guys that I actually got sponsored this cargo rack thing. And the deal is, is I'm going to put it on my Jeep, make a video about it. And if it works for me, I'm going to keep it and use it for my videos. And if it doesn't work for me, I'm just going to review it, 
and then I'm gonna package up and I am going to give it away to somebody. And the way I wanna do this is, I wanna give it away to one of my Patreon supporters. Now, I do not have a lot of Patreon supporters at the moment, which is why I'm doing this. Um, this is about a $115 cargo rack that I have right here. And I don't know how good the quality is yet. That's what I'm going to find out. If you become a Patreon supporter or you are a current Patreon supporter, I'm going to do a random giveaway. So once I have enough Patreon supporters, I will do a raffle and I will ship it or do, do whatever I need to do to give it to them. I will probably write a personal, you know, something special and then I will ship it in a box, give it to you. I'm going to take it out, see how cool it is. And I, I wanna see, I wanna see how cool this thing is. Burr, it's cold. Oh my gosh. God. Okay, so this actually is not designed for roof racks. It is designed so if you do not have a roof rack, you can strap this on the top of your vehicle, which is awesome if, uh, if you didn't have a roof rack. But I do have a roof rack, so I'm going to try to figure out how I'm gonna put this on. This is really cool. I don't need this, but this right here is a mesh. If you're installing this on top of your vehicle, like let's say you had an XJ for example, and you don't want to tear up the paint, this will just lay on top and this actually acts as a protective cover for your paint. It adds friction so that this won't slide around and it also adds as a protective layer to protect the paint from the top. I don't need this because I have a roof rack, but if you did, I'm gonna put this in here. That's what that's for. And you did right from the start. That was a little bit of like a custom designed workout that I made for myself. It's a, basically instead of boxing, you take some like five pound weights and stuff and you just kind of jab with the weights. And uh, I don't, I'm not a professional, so I have no idea if they work or not, but I, I, that's what I've been doing. Um, so, not that long ago, I was on top of my Jeep. I was trying to put that roof bag on top of my Jeep on the roof rack and uh, it, it, it wasn't working and then my camera died. Well, my camera died and then it wasn't working. Either way, my roof rack is so big that the only way I can get that bag to even possibly fit would be to put it on sideways. Like, it would be facing, I don't think it's gonna fit my Jeep and that's kind of a problem, but I am gonna figure something out. I'm gonna find a way where I can still like review the product and you know test it out the, to the best of my abilities. Um, I might have to use a truck or something. I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. So far though, the, the product, it seems pretty cool. It's like this heavy duty like tarp mesh. Actually, the material reminds me a lot of my backpack and my, uh, actually it's a very, it's very similar to actually my drones bag. It's kind of how it feels, like a really big version of that. And then I just have to strap it on. So far, the quality of it seems amazing. Um, I just actually have to figure out how to put it on. It's actually almost midnight, so uh, this has been, uh, productive. I just finished working out and I'm learning how out of shape I am so it's probably a good thing that I got this gym membership because I'm very very out of shape. So this morning actually or I guess this would have been yesterday for you guys I uploaded a video that my intention of this video was for it to be kind of a motivational video you know some a way for me to express my opinion on a certain topic and hopefully encourage and motivate some of you guys. Uh, a lot of you seem to really like that video and that was amazing, but some of you, I don't think you really understood what the point of the video was or what exactly I was trying to say. So I'm really happy that I don't have to explain myself to you. I'm not really going to try to. I've already tried to multiple times in the past. and. If you like that video, that's great. I'm really happy that I was able to make that video. I'm very proud of that video. But I'm going to be making a lot more videos like that. So if you like that video, stick around because I will be making a lot of videos like this in the future. I have a lot of ideas for things I wanna talk about and stuff. And so I will be making more videos like this in the future. And if you didn't like that video, if you wanna stick around, that's great. But just be prepared for the fact that I'm going to make a lot of videos like that. And I really don't care if people think that that's going to interfere with the road trip or anything. This road trip isn't just about going on a road trip. This isn't just about the Jeep and the trip. This is about this journey that I'm going on. And 
I want there to be life lessons in here and I want to share things with you guys. I want to motivate people and so that I want this channel to be more than just a place where you go and watch people driving Jeeps. I want it to be something else. I want it to be like its own hybrid of inspiration and I don't want it to just be a place where you go and watch someone offer it in their Jeep. I want that to be part of it, sure, but I don't want that to be what my channel is. I know what I want, I know what I'm filming, and this is going to be part of it. I'm going to be filming a lot of videos where I just sit in front of my camera and I'm just going to talk about what I want to talk about. And there's going to be a lot of videos like that. They're not everybody's going to understand, and that was kind of my point of the video. I really should have brought my earbuds for this. You know that thing keeps going off. It's creeping me out because it's like midnight, and I don't want to. I don't want to fight somebody. To, well, I kind of want to fight somebody. I just don't want to fight someone from my life. Well, I guess it's just a fair fight. But I've seen some built guys come in here, and I don't want to fight any of them. This is a